speaking of father of the year, we're going to transition to the trash dad of the year. In Donald case Dump. you missed it, Donald. Okay, come on with it. Donald is being sued by his own people. The city of New York is suing his trash ass for allegedly, which probably really isn't allegedly. I'm pretty sure if they said he did that shit, he did that shit. <laughs> it, it, and and I, I don't really know if it's like the blog situation, like because we're seeing you know them on so many blogs. It's like. And we're not re- we're not the ones really keeping up with the time, but it's like, damn, sis, like I know you ready to have that baby. I know Cardi ready too. I feel like Cardi been pregnant well, for about a year. When, when, All right, so Drake, if you are a dad, happy Father's Day. Ray J, happy wow. Father's Day. I just, I just, just wanted to say, it's no like, matter how secure you can make your woman, she nine times out of ten she won't allow you to go on vacation with your ex. But that's. Is real. Get up, get up, get up. It's about to go down. News flash. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Yes. Slacking on your pimping. Uh. Turn it up. You know, if you're gonna shoot, you better shoot straight because a wounded animal is the worst thing you can deal with. Tracks. Welcome to the Baller Alert Show, featuring your lifestyle specialist, Kenny Burns, with Sue Solo and Ferrari Simmons. The, 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 the dream is real. real. Ah. Kenny Burns, where are you, sir? He went to go get a bag. Me and Sue want five percent a piece. Okay, I'll take that. Or you can just take me shopping. I want the money. Hey, young world, it's your favorite Ethiopian <laughs> Sue Solo. <laughs> and your boy Ferrari Simons. He's over there in Kenny Burns' seat right now. It's kind of big, Burns you know what I'm saying? You know, big Kenny seat Burns, to fill. Yeah, big, yeah. Big seat to fill. Ferrari, how was your weekend? Uh, I was good. Um, first thing I did to start my weekend last week, I uh, got to last interview. Week. Yeah, I got to interview um, Zaytoven for title. Mm hmm. That was cool. Oh, that's lit. That was cool. Yeah, I got to um, be the voice of the interview. I won't be in the actual interview, but it was my voice that title used, and that was super cool. He got a new song with Future called Morilla. Play that OCT. Did you get a gift from Zaytoven too? I saw something really cool on your Instagram. Yes, I got um he gave me a Cavassier engraved with my name on it. Super cool. That was dope. I was I actually, actually smart. He did it to all the radio stations in Atlanta. Yeah, I saw that floating around the city for a little bit. That's but that was that was really. Then cool. my typical turn up, turn up, turn up. Let's see. Saturday Which is every, not typical. Yeah, every third Saturday I do a, a cyclist um, vibe ride in mm-hmm. in studio I at um, it's called the Vibe Ride, and then you can go cycle for everybody who like to cycle. Um, I'm really actually gonna intense. go tomorrow morning. I'm gonna go twice a week if I can. Is that like replacing your Stone Mountain thing, or is no? I'm still doing. Uh, hey, Stone Mountain is back every Wednesday, ten o'clock at the Walk Up Trail. You are just getting fit and fine right. out here, ladies. We're just I'm trying to get careful right. Careful for my brother. He ain't playing. Health is yeah. wealth and shit. Trying to get right. OCT was happening over there. Not much, man. How y'all doing? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Solo, how was your weekend, ma'am? Um, the weekend was crazy. Y'all know Saturdays we do um, get brunch, and then I have a day party, a new day party at Whiskey Mistress. Shout out to what? Yeah, Corey, new day party Pasha, alert. Lyric Matt. Yeah, it it's crazy. It's crazy. And then Saturday night, I'm at Revel. Um, this Saturday night, actually, we have Black Young, so you guys know. Um, wait, wait, Saturday night weekend. you're at Revel every Saturday? Every Saturday this night. This girl over here getting them coins. KB, you hear this, man? <laughs> you better go. Saturdays are lit. Saturdays are super lit. But, it, you know, girl, it's, it's all possible because of you guys. You guys are the influence behind. So, are you on the mic every Saturday? Everything. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just helping them promote it and do I'm not on the mic, right? That's, that's, that's on the mic, Sue. You I need don't, to get on the mic a little bit every Saturday. Though. I agree. I agree. I think I should get on the mic a little bit, but little bit. I just feel like Atlanta parties, like. I don't know. I don't know how receptive they'll be to like. Well, girl, a just get on the on mic and talk, like okay? Just get yeah. on the mic and talk. You're right. You're right. Don't right. black girl magic. You okay? You're right. Let me sprinkle a little bit. Well, well, a little since bit since of, we're a going back to last week, songs. though, I didn't talk about right. this last week because I guess y'all just assumed because I was sick, I ain't have nothing going on. But I was a panelist on the Let It Go Balloon Brunch with Quad, Saw that. which was super dope. Y'all remember? You know, we had an interview with Quad a few months back, uh, a few episodes back. And um, that was really cool We got to talk about um, Things that we had to overcome In order to like Progress in our careers Quad's story is always like Great She speaks with so much conviction And then I met a young lady Named Noelle Who talked about like her The absence of her father And how that affected her And that Really kind of weighed on me Because we were approaching Father's Day And um 
I didn't know my dad. Uh, I actually don't even think I ever had a conversation with him until I was 15 years old. So this whole like two weeks has been kind of, um, I don't know. It's been kind of not, I guess, nostalgic, but more so in a negative way. Like I remember not having him around. So mm-hmm. it was really cool to like see so many positive things that Baller Alert shared with all these fathers and, mm-hmm. and all that, which we'll we'll get into. Okay. Side note, your uh, your uh, fingernail game is always on point. Oh, shout out Caesar, to Caesar, zoom girl. in on the fingers, please. I'm not going to say her name. Because they're going to book her ass up. Oh, okay. Then you I'm just have no... I'm not going to hate Kelly. You're trying to share the bag. It's okay. I'm, I'm not going to hate like that because I know she'll always make time for me. Shout out to my girl Kelly at, at Hotspot, Roswell Road. I don't know what kind of style that is, but that's kind of hard. So I do stiletto and coffin. Wow. Because I can't. I'm indecisive. Okay. Mm-hmm. Looks good. Rare. Okay. <laughs> It is time for In Case You Missed It. Just in case you missed it. So I know we're going to talk a lot about Father's Day. Some of you guys have some amazing dads and some of y'all, like me, don't <laughs> don't really know who that man is. And that's okay. Did you have Did you have a father figure in your life, though? Yes, I did. Um, my brothers were definitely father figures for me. Okay. Uh, one of them, two of them probably more so than like anyone else. One of them was like the disciplinary. I was pretty spoiled by my mom because I didn't live with her. So whenever I went to visit her, like she would always take me shopping or, you know, she would just try to overcompensate for our time, you know, not being spent. So, hmm. and then the other one was like, the more like nurturing father one. He actually came to my dinner party that I had last night at the um, home by Martel Penthouse. Um, he's the one that taught me how to drive. You know, he. Okay. Yeah, he. So you did have a. Yeah, I definitely have father figures in figure my life there. for sure. And you know then what? Even, I'm, I'm looking for this book. Are you writing it right now? I, it sounds like I had a crazy you need life. To, right? uh, no, you need this. <laughs> you got to tell your story. But one yeah. time for the good fathers yeah. out there, for all you uh, bad fathers, kill yourself, drink yeah. bleach immediately, okay? Yeah, and before okay. we get too far into it, like, I definitely, you know, I, I sent you a message, you and Kenny, yesterday. Um, y'all have definitely been, like, father figures for me, for sure. I know you. Pro- it's probably weird to hear it, but... Can I just be, like, a big brother? Like, could we close enough? No, age? Dad. No, no, because <laughs> you're, you're already a dad, so I don't think that you know that you give that, you it's know, vibe. Yeah, that, vibe. yeah, you already give that off, so um, even with now everything happening with but the Baller Alert show and all these other opportunities that are coming up, if it wasn't for, you know, your advice and Kenny's, then... I don't know where I would be. Aww. So how was your Father's Day? My Father's Day was great. I actually, uh, what's it? What's the, what's the call when to do your feet? When pedicure. You do your pedicure. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I don't do stuff like that. But you know, I was treated you to get a pedicure. pedicure. Yeah. For the first time. The lady was like, "Oh man, you have a lot. <laughs> you have a lot of build up. Damn, shack feet. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> and then um, got a massage. Got a two hour massage. And Wait, then I had did, to go did do she a, wear gloves? No, I went feet? to a. I, I'm pretty sure no, she wore she a mask too. <laughs> no, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad, but that, you know, she could tell that it was like you haven't been here. Oh wow! Like, yeah, okay, well, I'm, I'm glad. Like okay. Then I got a two hour massage from um, this massage Ooh, from the spa. Two hours. Then I had to go do a day party myself. Fly guy DC BT, and then uh, wife and Lucci perform Fly Billionaire Fly Happy G Day, um, and then um, I had a dinner made for me. It was good. Well, you look rested. You had, you had a dinner made for you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Capped it off with some uh, Capped it off with some uh, Cali Smoke weed every day You know what I'm saying Oh that oh. never happens <laughs> Oh Hey yeah it was You a, was in rare form I was in rare form The last time that happened you I went work. to bed at 1045 <laughs> See Wow He can't hang Done I say, you, look, you look rested You look <laughs> yeah. real rested That's Dad. what it is and then I, I slept for 12 hours y'all Sheesh! For I didn't right. think that was possible. You That's needed good. that. You needed that rest. Good, you, good day, good day. You needed that. Happy Father's Day, Kenny Burns. Appreciate you, big bro. Yes. We miss you, Kenny Burns. Father of the Year. Speaking of Father of the Year, we're gonna transition to the Trash Dad of the Year. In Donald case Trump. you missed it, Donald. Okay, come on with it. Donald is being sued by his own people. The city of New York is suing his trash ass for allegedly, which probably really isn't allegedly I'm pretty sure if they said he did that shit he did that shit um <laughs> the city of New York is filing a lawsuit against Trump claiming his charity organization illegally used money for personal use and other businesses that's not far fetched do you, you believe he did that shit fuck Trump <laughs> okay I guess that means you do uh, what, what, what's up we already know Trump is he guilty ops. he did that shit he guilty as fuck <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so if you guys go on Father Alert, you'll actually see the full story, but I'll give you guys a little bit. Um, as our investigation reveals, the Trump Foundation was little more than a checkbook for payments for Mr. Trump or his business to nonprofits, regardless of their purpose or legality. Um, we still want to see them taxes, Trump. Uh-huh. We ain't never going to see the, those taxes. I think that we'll be. filed taxes in eight years. <laughs> He's filed bankruptcy how many times? Yeah, that's what uh, billionaires do, though. They file bankruptcy on the company. Well, we're going to go from one trash dad to a potential new dad, Drake. I've been moving calm, don't start no trouble with me. Trying to keep it peaceful is a struggle for me. Oh, man. I saw the foolish uh, memes. Hey, Caesar, put one on the screen right here. <laughs> Did you see the, the, the rap battle one? Do you, you think that's the, Drake's the Austin kid? Austin Powers one? Do you think that's Drake's kid? That's what I was talking about, the Austin Powers. One day I got into a battle with Pusha T. He told the world about you, trying to expose me. Now normally in the battle, we exclude off Emily. But I spoke on his fiance and he got mad at me. That's cool. Now I'm proud to show off my mini me. I'm taking you to the studio, finish this album with me. You a clown, Pusha T. You just mad you can't be us. And he jealous that you got your own shoe with Adidas. People acting like Life of Adidon was a hit. And honestly, he was sounding like a gossiping chick. Now I got my son in the whip, top down, cruising the strip. And I love my baby boy. Who cares who I had him with? Just know that now the world got two Drakes to deal with. Drake stand for daddy's right here and keep everything lit. That's it. Can't let these haters bother me. Not today because of you. Today I celebrate my first Father's Day. Hey. That yeah. meme was the fun. Whoever came up with that, I, you the wrong. Internet, hey, you're the wrong internet's that. good, boy. The undefeated internet. The that internet had me crying laughing. That like that. No, I just kept scrolling. Really funny, I no, just kept scrolling. What was really funny. You didn't watch it? I did, but I just you know. Oh, okay. You just trying to be nice. Okay. Uh, but now nice. trying to be nice. Uh, he, was, he was just trying to be no, nice. No, you know. Okay. It's okay. Well, what about Marquise? Fifty Cent, 50 Cent son. son. Now that, that was, was funny. Funny. Fifty, 50 that was didn't funny, acknowledge it, it though. Did you notice? Fifty Fifty did not acknowledge it. Mm. He didn't comment. He didn't you know, like. Usually he does. He always is with the fucker. He didn't get his Canaan bag. Yeah, he was not from power. You know, I th- I think they them two need to reconcile their differences, yeah. man. I don't know. Like, do you guys think that fifty is a problem? You want me to be honest? I don't think that I was, do, that's fifties. Yeah. I don't think that fifty kind. Of, from what I see, fifty is a kid? really good dad. Yeah, but sometimes I feel like the issue isn't even with the kid; like it's with the you parent. Know, the parent, and yeah. Then, you know, naturally, and it, it naturally down to that. Yeah, naturally, the son would naturally defend mom. So that I think that's what's going on. Naturally or rightfully so. I think naturally because it's a nat- it's a nature thing. You know, your mom gives birth to you. You're super attached to your mom, especially if she's a great mom. You know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure she's a great mom to him. So naturally, if him and if mom and dad has differences, usually the boy gravitates towards making sure mom because you don't want to see cause depending. You know, we don't know what, exactly what happened, but let's just say dad makes mom cry. Okay. Naturally, the son is going to be protective of his mom. Yeah. But, but you I, know what? I think if dad is a great dad, then... I think it's set... The parents have to set the tone in the first place. Yep. Perfect kids, example. Kids <laughs> did not ask to be here, you know, and mm-hmm. it's... And, and it just sucks once, when they get in between it. Exactly. And, you know, prime example, the Will Smith and Jada situation. I was just going to say, everybody needs to take a... a wait, wait, a, wait, wait, wait. That's going... That's coming up. No. What else we got, Sue? We got uh, Ray J actually celebrated this is his first Father's Day. Yep. About time, his boy. I know it, it really does seem like she like Princess was pregnant for a while. <laughs> it, it, and and I, I don't really know if it's like the blog situation, like because we're seeing you know them on so many blogs. It's like, and, and we're not re- we're not the ones really keeping up with the time. But it's like, damn, sis, like I know you ready to have that baby. I know Cardi ready too. I feel like Cardi been pregnant well, for about a year. When, when women post, yeah, you know when they're first pregnant, like you know, it in takes the early a long time because you go, and yeah. this is like, damn, like yeah. months later, you like you still pregnant? It's really yeah. nine months though. It's really what it was thirty two weeks, half a long. It's just really, it's really a minute. <laughs> All right, so Drake, if you are a dad, happy Father's Day. Ray J, happy wow. Father's Day. I just, I just, <laughs> just wanted to say, uh, Jay Z and Beyonce dropped a new album over the weekend. How do y'all feel to like the people that the the tour has already started, right? Am I tripping? Yep, the tour already started. started. Mm-hmm. So I want to know like how the people that have already seen the show feel about new tracks coming out all of a sudden. I would be pissed. You know I'd they fall night trying to oh. line them. Oh, you talking about that's already yeah, seen already them seen and it. then they drop. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Because you paid the same ticket price and I'm sure you went to Beyonce's concert. Who's to say the ticket know, price might not go up now? Ago. No, I think most of them dates are probably done already. sold out. True. Yeah. 
but I like the album. I like the album. Everything a lot. is love is is amazing. Um, by the Carters, the they came yeah. out released it as the Carters. Yeah, by the I'm Carters. trying to figure out the the cover though. What does the cover mean? It's been a lot of interesting, uh, thought provoking, black love uh, covers lately. Look like he's getting his head, his scalp greased. You know what I'm saying? That's normal. Well, I mean, she she been talking about you know his do rags and running the bath water and all that. So black love. Yeah, I would just okay. say. I mean. Yeah. I'm still new on it. I'm still. I have to sit with it. We need for to a figure minute. that out because you know uh, Beyonce is very smart with the things that she does and the yeah. artwork she releases. I, I like it a lot more than Kanye. Who the fuck is that? I hate to bring up Kanye. Kanye oh, yeah. stuff is just so. Did you see the photo shoot? Did y'all see the photo shoot? It's a little that awkward. Kanye did. Oh, I thought you were talking about the one that no, Jay Z and Beyonce did. No, the, the photo bed. shoot that Kanye did. You didn't see it? No. Oh. What? What are you doing? God. Caesar, put him on the screen. Frightening, find help. Sometimes I scare myself, myself. I mean, I get it. <coughs> I mean, I get it. He's creative. He's being creative, stretching his creative mind. What's or whatever. the meaning? Though? I don't think that's so weird, though. I, th- I think, What's I, think the I think it's Kanye. Dark. People are like, oh, it's so like, oh my, because people are kind of turned off by Kanye right now. So they're like, oh, he's so crazy. I don't think that was. I've seen. I mean, I don't think really it's crazy. I think crazy it's, just, it's just art. You have different type of artists in, yeah. in, in in paintings. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You have different type okay. of artists. For me, like I said he's so about off. the Kanye album. Going back to that It's not for me That type of um, Art doesn't speak to me You know what I'm saying The Jay Z type fo- the, the photos We're talking about the photos No but still From art Still what she's saying yeah. art Well we, we know You're not every, feeling Kanye girl But I'm saying Everything Kanye right now is, is It isn't really speaking to me Now yeah. this, this Carter's album 4-5 got changed for you Motorcades when we came through Presidential with the planes too Went better get you With the residential Undefeated with the cane too I said no to the Super Bowl You need me I don't need you Every night we in the end zone Tell the NFL we in stadiums too I love that It's feeding It's feeding my spirit You know what I'm saying I love that I want to be uplifted You know what I'm saying Black love Black hope We got to do this thing Don't forget Nas dropped the album too Nas you We know, cannot forget album. that Nas dropped Man it's been a so lot many, of So much, so much grace What happens happen. is Whenever Whenever Beyonce drops something The world shut down Male or female, it make no difference. I stop the world. The world stop. Carry on. All right. So that being so said, do, do you think that they were trying to like? Nah, nah, nah. nah. Trying to like stunt on Kanye a little bit, like nah. trying to slow his shit down. You nah. don't think so? They move on their own accord. So you don't think that it's odd that they already started the tour, then came out with the album right around the time that I mean, Kanye if anything, you gonna, if anything, you're gonna get shown how to do it properly. Ooh. I just know as a fan, I would be mad if I saw. A show that was probably very similar to the last on the run show. Like when I saw the playlist, I was like, it, it seemed like it was the same concert. Mm-hmm. Them mm-hmm. tickets are expensive, and you know she really doesn't switch up her dance moves very much. So you're much. saying like, people should be mad that I would be upset. An album came out after they saw. I, I would be well, because after they paid you already for... know she's gonna play some of the new stuff. So as True. a fan, I would be hurt that I didn't get to see. You know her perform mm. a new song. Okay. Okay. Beehive I'd be mad for spoken. Real. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, look. So you are part of the Beehive. Yeah, I, I, feel, I love Beyonce definitely, okay. but I'm not like you know. Some people are so crazy about it that they'll just like glorify like every single thing. I would be hurt if the album came out after I saw the show. So, so are you in the sitting council of the Beehive? No, no. So Beehive I, should be I hurt that like saw the enough. concert already, but didn't. Yeah, See it, the concert with the new with material. With the new tracks, yeah, okay, gotcha. right. for sure, definitely. So Is we're that, glad that the Carters well, came I, out. Yeah, I'm glad about that. Yeah, like, we're I'm, glad. I'm just I'm it's grateful for the album. Yeah, it's good music. So either way, we're happy that we got it. You know, I'm just saying, damn. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You just wanted it a little sooner? A little sooner. A little Before sooner. the tour, so it made sense. Guess who's at the hospital? Are you on, Are you going to the tour any of the dates? Um, if if one of my brothers give me some concert tickets, but I'm not I'm not gonna pay for it. <laughs> I'm not gonna pay for it, you know. <laughs> Rich the kid is out the hospital. <laughs> I still think he was set In up. Glory news. Rich the kid is out the hospital. I still think he and was Black set China up. Black China ain't pregnant, by the way. Um, you said what he was set up? I think he was set up. By who? I don't know. By 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 the, by the bricks lady or 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 Uzi or I'm not I'm not fi- no nah, no nah, I don't think he was set up by you don't Uzi. Think Uzi had anything to do nah, with I don't it? think you know I don't think because I think Uzi ran up on him we wanted to shoot the one 
And then, you know, that that situation happened. That was that. That was but really fun. That was cool to see. A robbery is always a setup. I, I just know somebody close to him that set him up. Now, did you see Tori's like post though? How she yeah, was that saying shit that was she, like. Did it seem? Genuine? I'm not. I'm not feeling the portrait mode picture. Nah, I'm not. Why feeling she that. have a portrait mode picture? She nah, wanted. She bro. wanted everybody to see the the bruises clearly. That's what's up. What you mean? I saw that game post too. Oh. You just gotta move a little smoother. But then you know, if you have somebody close to you, it's easy to kind of like let your guard down a little bit. That's why I feel. Yeah. He was set up. Because I know Rich the Kid personally, you know what I'm saying? He, okay. He's not the type of person to move carelessly, you know what I'm saying? Okay. That's how I know it had so to be So it has to be someone close enough to say. Can we a moment of silence for this younger generation? Come on, let's do that. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I, I feel like um, people getting set up is like a tale as old as time like especially in these kind of situations like these kind of dudes like a robbery they like rob chicks. you steal your jewelry beat you up take your money somebody extremely close to you set that up a lot of the comments that I was reading on Baller Alert um, people were saying like it they didn't believe that her eye was messed up enough. Oh, she was like, messed up. Oh, they they hit, they strategically hit her where they hit her so they wouldn't hurt her. So I guess they were trying to say that they do really believe that she's the one that that set them up. I don't know nothing about these people for real in real life, but it wouldn't be an uncommon thing. It wouldn't be a shocker if she had anything to do with it. And I just think that her video, you know, her live video was so. Maybe I'm just not the type of person to like go on social media like when something tragic like that happens to defend myself. Like it just it just didn't seem right. I don't know, sis. She probably should have waited and just didn't say anything. But then the baby mama came out with something the too. The, the ex wife. Oh, are, wife. Are they still wife, married? My bad. Wife. Yeah, my no, bad. they're still married. Wife. Yeah. So, so she gonna beat her up. She's a side chick. Yeah. So th this this situation is really messy. Like really messy. It's it's a lot of it's a lot of side chick stuff going on, man. Y'all y'all gotta tighten up. I'm not saying, you know, cheating is acceptable, obviously, but y'all just real loose with it. Y'all just, ooh. Yeah. Can we have another moment of silence for, for this situation? Yes, girl. All right. All right. Ready for ball of mail? Oh, you got something? You ready? Uh, I was like, we well, one more thing I would like to mention. I would like to say happy Black Music Month. Yes. To all of the world. Yes. You know what I'm saying? We built this music thing. You did. Yeah. You know? Yep. In relation to that, um, it's it's sad actually because this month I think Wale just shared that he had issues in his career because of his dark uh, skin. Put it on the screen, Caesar. Racial ambiguity helps in anything in America. That's just it, it is. That's just what it is. Probably except for maybe sports, but racial ambiguity helps at some at some level. Like you know what I'm saying? Like even in acting, like you, you can play uh, like oh Italian, Greek. This, that, that, if you black, you just, what, black, Jamaican, African, what, maybe? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just racial ambiguity just helps. And and it could be for a lot of reasons. It could be because uh, Middle Eastern with curly hair, and when I cut it, I look like Drake. I relate. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm, 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 I'm biracial. I look like this guy, whatever. Oh, I'm white. I, I relate to some of him, what he's mm -hmm. saying. Like, it, it's not, I'm not, I ain't mean it like on some, like, okay, the world is racist. I'm just saying, like, racial ambiguity helps a lot. Yeah. So it's funny, you know, we're celebrating Juneteenth. If the Emancipation Proclamation was passed in 1863, why weren't you free until 1865? Well, it took two years for the Civil War to end. Oh, so you were free when the war ended? Nah, not for two more months because Texas landowners wanted another harvest. That's not cool. None of it was cool. But an army ship arrived on June 19th, 1865 and announced we were free. That's why we celebrate Juneteenth. I am a slave. And the home of the brave, a product of the triangular trade. Please pardon my ways if I'm nervous or the slightest bit skittish. In the presence of the Portuguese, Spanish, Dutch, or British, they kept me in colonial chains. Tell me how to persuade them to chill or to save me if still I'm a slave. For celebrating, um, you know, Black. What is this? Black Music black, History Month. Black Music Month. Black Music Month. Um, and then Wale to, to share that story is really cool. I think because you always hear a lot of women talk about, you know, how they had a hard time uh, because of their skin or their hair. Do you think the skin weight. tone has a lot to do with a rapper, though? 
I well, did I think initially. Think industry, so a light skinned rapper would sell more records than a dark skinned rapper. Maybe he would have a different opportunity to sit at a different table with a different group of execs. You know, mm. maybe it goes back that far. Okay. I mean, I we know. have enough struggles as it is, and as being black musicians, you know what I'm saying. Yep. So, you know, color does play a part, unfortunately, I mean, a lot of aspects of America, you know. But um, I just I'm grateful for uh, Black Music Month, Black music in general, being a engineer, producer, songwriter, mm-hmm. DJ. You do all, all that things. Sis. Um, music, you know, still looking for my placement though. That's all right. Oh, it's coming. Ooh. So, should Ooh. a dark skinned rapper uh, or a, a, skin, a, a rapper of a darker uh, pigmentation be more mindful of his music content than a light skinned rapper? I think in the same way that you tell me to make sure that I'm being consistent with what I put out and the perception that I give people, I think it's the same thing in that industry. Like, Hmm. it's not fair that you have to almost uh, remind yourself to be something that you're not naturally. But I think when we're trying to get to the bigger picture, somebody's got to be willing to adjust so they can open the doors for somebody else. Wow. You know what I mean? Okay. And um, shout out to 702 Their um, Unsung was just on this past Sunday Really? Amazing group They're on tour right now Y'all look them up Get tickets Support them We need to support our black artists out here Who's still doing it You know what I'm saying I'm a 90's kid And um, growing up with their music and all that stuff I love 702 I'm looking for your book Irish Because you had a lot to say girl Okay Um, And yeah Okay 702 I remember them And now it's time for Baller Man. Message. This is like probably my favorite part. Would you let your husband go on vacation with his ex-wife and their child? Let's go to the audio. You know, she's gone on vacations with Will without mm-hmm. me, with Trey. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because I feel as though Trey needs to feel that dynamic between his two parents. That's very important that he can feel that connection and feel, you know, where they do meet. Mm-hmm. So that he can feel, um, you know, that 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 uh, parental connection. Mm-hmm. I think that's important. And so while I really... You, while you're married with Will... Mm-hmm. They've been on vacation together. Yes, they have. Oh shit! They actually just came off of one. Damn, that's some real ass man. Damn. Yeah, they actually just came off of one. She went with him to um, Jordan. Mm-hmm. She, Will, and Trey went to Jordan. Where does she go? She went to Jordan and went somewhere else with him. I think Israel. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. That's a, I love uh, it. I actually love it too. I, uh, love I just it. know for a fact, ninety nine point nine 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 percent of the women in on the globe uh, is definitely not going to let people, that happen. People, people, <laughs> hold on, people, not some, women, people. On some the people globe. won't even let your co-parent go your to the movies. With you. Now, I'm look. trying to tell you, you you're always trying to woman. blame women. You know, you, so you think it's more women that will accept that? I happening? think more women can accept it if more men knew how to act. Okay. okay. I mean, I'm just saying. I've not. I've never been in a situation where you know, I could go on vacation with my ex. Like that's, that's because y'all could barely sit at the damn dinner table. No, I'm good. Right? Like, so you we, damn sure I'm not Gucci. gonna go to the Bahamas. No, I can. No, I don't think. Like I said, I, just, I, not, I think it depends nah, on the parent. I, th- I think it starts with the parents, and you know what I'm saying. It starts with you as an individual. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, that's an individual thing. To be honest with you, because you could be all good, and your girl just be like, nah. Right. I don't can think y'all that's both cool. handle something that's, like that's a. I think that's an individual. Thing like it is no matter how secure you can make your woman, she nine times out of ten she won't allow you to go on vacation with your ex. But that's because it comes from her past experiences of not being able to trust and not thinking that that's a even if she trusts you now. I'm just saying like I don't think that majority of women that I know and I'm talking about I know I know good women, bad women, regular women, whatever. Good women, bad women. No, I'm just saying I know a, a, a variety of different women. I'm pretty sure. I don't think that they would let their husband go on vacation with their ex-wife and the son that they had. And it depends on their relationship, too. 100% depends on the relationship. 
So you know, she may be you know Jada securing what she has, Will and I think that's dope. They have. Like I, I don't want, I don't want it to come across that I don't think that's that I think that's bad. I think that's super cool. Right, I don't like, see it happening. I just don't see it happening I don't think in a, lot a of people normal situation. Be, yeah, I don't think a lot of people would be able to do that. You know, but I think there are people who do, and they are one of those people. Yeah. If I ever had to co-parent, like God forbid, you know, I'm I'm in that situation. But if I am. I would love to mirror what Jada and Will have going on. Just like, let you know I, that's gonna have that's gonna require a lot. No, I right. know that. Okay, cool. I know, yeah, for sure. I agree. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> it's just at the end of the day, it is really important for that kid to have that bond with their parents. Right. Like it is. It, it's not about me and my insecurity unless Cause you got a lot of parents who like to force the uh their new First of all, it's parent. hard to you yeah, can you get can't a new wife or husband on a kid, you know. Yeah. Y'all we just gonna be a happy family. We ain't mm-hmm. messing with that, you know, and just you know, neglecting their former life. Yep. You literally want to snatch them out of something that molded who they were. Like I think we can all agree, like the first what three to five years of a kid's life, like that is super very impactful. Important. It's mm-hmm. very impactful. So let's say, you know, you guys separate when the kid is ten. Like all of a sudden, I'm just supposed to embrace this new person and this new lifestyle, and it, it, it's not fair to do that. So I do think, um, you know, Jada's interview on a uh, Sway in the Morning was it was perfect. Like if if you're somebody that can think outside of yourself and learn and understand that. A child's development really does come from that parental guidance, like having that that right. that security blanket. Um, I wish that my parents could have found a way to co-parent. Like as much as I think, like, oh no, I'm good. Like you know, I I have father figures it that you know you. that fill that void. It does affect. Again, you they don't they don't teach this. Like this is something that needs to be at least brought up to kids as they're in high school. Yeah, like human sexual behavior yep. classes. They need to have like. You know, even though you're not a parent, like it should be like a required college course or something. You know what I'm saying? Like this is not taught. Like you, you just learn on the fly. Yeah, right. And that's kind of sometimes that kind of will you know deter people because they don't want to learn that. Some people don't want to learn that. A lot of people don't want to accept themselves. That's the Correct. problem. It's it's hard for people. But it to look needs at to be a requirement, just like we're required to take. Uh, physical physical education. Yeah. We're required to take math. We're required to take such and such. But we need to take action. What's up? Let's do something. I don't know, man. At some point, though, if it's not going to happen, gonna, we got to wait for like, Trump to get out of office. We're responsible for that. Like, here, here, here you go. Um, <laughs> at some point, you know, if if we know that there are things that we want the next generation to learn, like we can't wait for the schools to teach them. Like we can't. Yeah. It, it, it's not going to work out that way. So I do think it just takes it takes us as individuals to take that lesson home. Like we have mm-hmm. to go ahead and start that. Right well, now, let's get salute to, to Jada. Let's get um, to the, the, that's, a, the that's a dope example. Yeah, yeah. No, they they're they're Start strong as hell for that. They're, they're, I, I know a lot of people that co-parent, and I don't have any. I don't have anyone around me that co-parents like that. And I would love to see more of that. All right, y'all ready for comment, creep 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 so since we're talking about all these amazing fathers, I'm going to uh, do a little comment creeping on 50 Cent. 50. Oh so make, post this, make sure you post this picture so everybody gets it, okay? Now you know I will kill my own if I have to. Don't make me throw yours out the window. Hashtag power returns July 1st. Everyone's That's excited Katie. about that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the strap. Home girl with the with the gorgeous Snapchat filter made with Haitian parts. Okay, that that's a cute um, Instagram <laughs> name, sis. Um, those are real tears. Poor baby. Fifty Cent replies, "You are so smart. We did the scene over and over and over. I asked the director if I could try something different. Then it went down. You can't get a four year old to cry on cue. She looked at Dre, then felt my energy and started crying. It scared the shit out of her." If y'all are looking at the picture, it'll make sense. I know it sounds a little crazy. We already know 50 Cent is evil and could probably make children cry. 50 is not evil, man. Listen, I don't think 50 Cent, the real person, is evil. I think the persona that we see on social media has evil tendencies. I don't know the real person. You're talking about Curtis Jackson? I don't know Curtis. I don't and know nothing about Zodiac. Like to- Man, I get good vibes when, do, I'm around, when I'm around 50. Hold on, t- tell me about cancers because I don't know anything about Zodiac signs. Well, I think. Being a cancer, oh, uh, Lord. So your birthday coming up, okay. yeah. but you know, a lot of cancers they like to 
that that hard shell. You know what I'm saying? They don't really like to express themselves, show their feelings and stuff like that. But you know, inside, so you know, it gets a little emotional. It gets 50, a little emotional. You should be trying to fight that. Yeah, you just don't trust nobody. You gotta get close emotions to him back. to have him open up. Okay. Fifty a good person, man. Yeah, I love Fifty Cent. I got one more for for us. Okay, this is from John Legend. So Paul Ryan tweets My life changed the day I became a father Lisa, Charlie, and Sam are my highest priority Wishing all of the dads out there a happy early Father's Day John Legend, you know, he he, he just, he can't hold water He says, seriously, fuck you <laughs> Reunite the families at the border and we can talk about Father's Day Amen to that Y'all have separated wow. over 2,000 children in the span of what six weeks mm -hmm. on the border literally ripping them from their parents and you guys have absolutely no compassion these kids are living like animals like mm -hmm. in cages it's it's disgusting it's disgusting and then Trump tries to di divert it to this being the Democrats fault like the Democrats made this law let's yeah. Oh, you just shitted on Father's Day so bad. Oh, I, I and, uh, and, and to be honest with you, Father's Day isn't as a big of a deal for some reason, it seems like, as Mother's Day. How about we fix that, too? I think it's a part of, like, men don't celebrate the way women do. Like, women celebrate loudly. Like, we're like, oh, yeah. And then y'all are more like, oh, yeah, Whatever. cool. Like, yeah, just I just want to eat. So I think y'all have trained us to be a little mellow. On mm. Father's Day more so than we are on Mother's Never Day. Never heard that explained that to me. It, that but way. am I lying yeah. though? Okay. Because like if something joyous happening here right now, me and Octavia, are pro well, probably not Octavia. She's a little like chill. But we'd probably be like, yes, yes, and you'll be like, oh yeah, that's cool, that's cool. I think America has trained us to. It's better though. It's better. Yeah, it's been getting better. Okay. Father's okay. Day has been getting better. I'm just saying. That's because fathers like, have been getting better. It's been a lot of real, real fathers out here. Like, yeah, I'm an '80s baby, so you know, fathers yeah. were like I said, fathers I were America, gone in the '80s. Mm -hmm. Yeah, has, America has a lot to do with why fathers are not celebrated as much. This is America. Don't catch you slipping now. Don't catch you slipping now. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you guys are here now. Okay. Or showing up. Showing and up. now it's time for Confucius. Oh man, and, and since Confucius is not actually here, today's word is coming from Jess Fucius, aka Miss Burns. Take it away for our Simmons. Growth may cause you to not recognize the person you are becoming. Mm -hmm. Don't allow fear. To keep you from shedding your old ways and becoming the person you are meant to be. Yes, Lord. Let me say it again for the people in the back that Ooh, read that. that rode the yellow bus. Growth may cause you to not recognize the person you are becoming. Don't allow fear to keep you from shedding your old ways and becoming the person you are meant to be. Embrace the new you, basically. Don't don't let people try to make you feel embarrassed for growing and changing and accepting all of your gloriousness just go ride the wave accept you be great hey K, I don't give a damn what you hate to say fuck what you talk about it's Rory Sue Solo Kelly Burns is the ball of the show it's the ball of the show you know what the fuck I'm trying to say <laughs>